awkward thing to go to a conference of three or four thousand preachers and preachers' wives and uh, and uh, gospel involved people to challenge you with the statement: uh, the greatest thing you need right now is to know God. A spiritual saving knowledge of God is man's greatest need because an unknown God cannot be trusted. I figured I was going to get, I'm about at the climax right now, what I thought I would get. And here's why, and I've got to tell you this because I'm under a mandate. I'm not preaching what I'd like to. You are right, Doc. I don't work for the church. My boss gave this to me. And the problem that I'm having now is that the majority of you, probably 99% of you, are all sitting here stunned. What is this schmo saying to me about knowing God? Of course I know God. Really? Really? Well, then let me go a little easier for you. Uh, at what level do you know Him? No? Not got there yet, huh? You see, according to the Scripture, God reveals Himself to every generation anew and afresh. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm not the God of the dead. I'm the God of the living. He gives everybody a chance, the privilege to know Him. But here's the key. He only reveals Himself to people in degrees. He has never revealed Himself to any people or any individual in His fullness. I don't care how much you think we United Pentecostal people got it. We don't know all that God wants to show us yet. We have yet to travel where God is fixing to take us yet. This whole conference, as Brother Tenney said, was about transition. God is positioning this body right now to take us into a place like Joshua took Israel. You have not gone here too far. You're going to touch stuff you've never touched. You're going to see stuff you've never seen. And the greatest need that you have is you better know God for Himself.